Now it's time to talk about the pages directory and the pages we create inside it. Yes, we have used these pages various times and we know how these things are going to work. But in this episode, let's talk about some things which are only available for pages. So inside the pages, we can see we have index page and inspire page. Let's create another page called about. So as soon as I create about.view, there is a route created with about.view. So inside div, I will create h1 and I will say about. And as soon as I save this file, yes, I told you route is created. So dot next and router.js and you can see it is already imported and created the route for this. So we have this slash about route already created. We don't have to configure anything it's just automatic magical next so now let's go here and simply say about and yes we have this about obviously i am layout the default layout is applied yeah that's nice but what can we do with this pages so you know in this page you can have like you can change some meta tags the head tags just for this page so i will say head and this is actually a function which is given by next and inside this you can have your own meta tags or head tags so i'm just going to return so here we create object and i will say title is equal to about so inside quotes and let's go here and you can see it says next app at the top on the title but now if i save this file and go here you can see instantly that is changed to about similarly if i go on page source and here you can have about somewhere title is about yeah it is there so title is about which is changed so let's add some more script here so how we can add a script so just we just need to say a script and a script is an array of object so source is slash about dot js and that's it i think so go here refresh this page and let's search for about.js and yes you can see we have a new script called about.js that's very cool this is the way and this is only available for about.js if i go on home page on this inspire you can see this title is again next app which is the default one and here we can't find the about.js so about.js is not available here similarly this is the head and another function is available for our next pages which is async data so i will say async data is going to just return title and like title is equal to about and what it this async data is going to do it will create the data on your uh, about dot view file before loading this component so now i swap this with title so generally what happened you create a data property like this you define title as about and let's just comment this out so if you go on the about section yes about is there because we have used that data so if i go here on this pages about yes you can see the data is about data but by using this async data it is going to create the data before loading of this component so now if i go here refresh this page again we are having about and again if i see we have the title of about and that's happening because of this async so if i uh, comment this and yeah you can see we don't have that and even we have the error in the console so that that's again only available for your pages you cannot use these kind of things on layout on your component we will talk about component later so one more thing is like fetch and fetch is going to be useful similar to async data but fetch is going to useful to 
put the data inside your Vuex store. We have not talked about Vuex store. We will talk about it later. But these things are available just for your pages. So if you want the full list of things which are available for pages and you can go to this next website and then go to this views section and inside views you can see we have the pages and here we have all the list of things or attributes you can define on your pages only so these things are very nice and we will talk about these later and yeah we have actually talked about layout before when we have talked about uh, the layout section so in in inspire page we are having uh, not in inspire yeah in inspire page we have this layout uh, which where we are defining the custom layout so these things are only available in pages and why these are only available in pages we will see when we are uh, creating a project with nuxt so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye